video designed to show you how to get your vehicle data link adapter up and running in a quick and painless manner. Although the DPA5 is used in this demonstration, all Dearborn protocol adapters utilize the same procedures demonstrated in this video. It will show you how to install the DPA drivers, software, and utilities, as well as provide a tutorial on how to use the DG Technologies adapter validation tool. By the end of this video, you'll be able to verify that your DPA is performing properly. When you receive your new DPA, open the box. The first item you will see is a quick start guide. Take a minute to read this guide. There are steps that need to be followed in a certain order, or your DPA will not function properly, resulting in a frustrating startup. The first step in the installation process will be to install the DPA drivers, software, and utilities from the CD provided with the kit. Locate the DPA driver CD and place it in the PC. The installation will start automatically. Then, simply follow the on-screen instructions. When you are finished, you will be prompted to reboot your computer. While your computer is rebooting, connect the vehicle and USB cables to the DPA. Be sure to tighten the thumb screws as this will help prevent damage to the unit from accidental drop or cable pulls. The rugged aluminum housing and the patented thumb screws on the USB connector provide rugged reliability and differentiate the DPA from other competitive product designs. Now that the cables are connected to the DPA, you can safely connect to a vehicle. In the trucking industry, there are two common connectors, a 6-pin Deutsch connector and a 9-pin Deutsch connector. The 6-pin, shown here, is usually found on older vehicles and only has connection for the J1708 data bus. The 9-pin, shown here, is found on newer vehicles. OEMs went to this connector when they began using the J1939 data bus. The 9-pin connector, in most cases, contains connections for the J1939 data bus and possibly J1708 as well. As a side note, the J1708 data bus is rapidly becoming discontinued in many OEM models using the 9-pin Deutsch connector. Now that the cable is connected to the vehicle, be sure to turn the ignition switch to the run position. Look at the DPA and ensure that the power LED is illuminated. If the key is not in the run position, the data bus will not be active. Your PC will be able to see the DPA, but the DPA will not be able to see any messages. Now that the vehicle network is active and the DPA is powered up, plug the USB cable into your PC. Listen carefully for the familiar Windows chime mm -hmm. when plugging into a USB port. Watch for the Installing Device Drivers window to appear in the lower right corner of your screen as well. Once the device drivers have finished installing, you are ready to validate that the drivers are installed properly and your adapter is ready for use. As a side note, we have seen many service bay laptops with broken USB connectors. If you do not get the Windows Chime or the driver's installation window, try a different USB port. Validating that your adapter is installed and working properly is a simple, straightforward process. The adapter validation tool, AVT for short, is a simple way to ensure that the DPA is working properly. It also provides helpful instructions on what to do if there are issues with communication to the DPA or from the DPA to the vehicle. Double click the DG AVT icon on your desktop to open the application. The top three combination boxes at the top of the window allow you to select the adapter, device, and protocol to be tested. A great attribute of AVT is that it allows you to test Dearborn Group adapters and also allows you to test RP1210 adapters from other manufacturers as well. DG Technologies was the first VDA vendor in the industry to provide this type of functionality. Now that the DPA5 is connected, we are going to select the DG DPA5MA Dearborn Group DPA5 multi-application entry as the vendor. Next, we will select Device ID 1, DG, DPA5 Dual CAN, MA, USB, dash, USB, Entry to communicate with the adapter in USB mode. Now, we will select the protocol used for network communication. 
If you are connecting with a 6-pin Deutsch connector, select J1708. If you are connecting with a 9-pin Deutsch connector, select J1939. Click the Run Test button to test your adapter. The test results and discussion box will display the results of the test. If both the status window and data message window turn green, congratulations, you have successfully connected to the vehicle network. A pop-up window will display information about the successful connection. You are now ready to configure your OEM diagnostic application to work with the DPA-5. The DPA-5 user's manual, accessible from the Windows Start menu, is an important resource that provides detailed information about the DPA-5 and its capabilities, including how to configure the most common OEM applications. It also provides answers to many of the most commonly asked questions about the device. To access the user manual, go to Start, Programs, Dearborn Group Products, DPA-5, Documentation, and open the DPA-5 User Manual. Once the manual is open, click the Edit menu and select Find. A search box will appear. Type in the name of the OEM application you wish to configure, then press Enter. In this example, I want to know how to configure Alice and Doc software. Type in Alice and Doc and hit Enter. The search will take you to the software setup instructions for OEM diagnostic applications. Click on the highlighted Alice and Doc text. It will take you to the section in the manual that provides instructions for configuring the Alice and Doc software. Here, you will find instructions on how to configure many of the most common OEM applications. Follow the instructions provided and your software will be configured for use with the DPA-5. Please note, every OEM software package uses a unique configuration and will need to be configured for use with the DPA-5 or it will not work. In the event your software application is not listed, please contact the Vendor Tech Support Group for that application. For technicians requiring wireless communication capability, please refer to our DPA-5 Bluetooth configuration video. This concludes the DPA-5 video tutorial. We hope it helped. Remember, our ability to get you up and running in a quick and painless manner is our top priority. Feel free to send us any questions or comments you may have. We look forward to supporting your needs and hope to serve you again in the very near future.